What's going on, y'all? Cut your K back here for another freaking video. Alright, so... I'm gonna have to talk to y'all for a second. Alright, I just mean flat out, just... Talk. At the moment, it is almost 8.30 in the morning. Right? What am I doing up so early? I haven't been able to sleep a lot. That's why I haven't been making videos. Because when I get online, and I think I'm going to make a video, I'm just too tired to do it. So, I end up just leaving it. You know? So, what I wanted to talk about today is... Hold on. Is it still dark in my room? For the camera? Not if I have it at the right place. That's a no. <laughs> so, people, we need to start being more honest with people, you know? Tell them what they need to hear and not what they want to hear. That's why I believe in helping my friends out. Because my friends not only are brutally honest, trust me, but... They tell me what I need to hear, not what I want to hear. So, people are so caught up in, by the way, my dad's asleep. That's why I'm talking in a low voice. But, uh, that's why when people get offended because you told them the truth, that's why. They're so used to you telling them what they want to hear, not what they need to hear. And I think that's why a lot of people get offended now. Because when you're honest with someone, they should take that advice and just move forward. But no, people ain't like that anymore. See, me and my friends, we basically, it's not a written code, but it's, it's a code. When someone asks you a certain question, yeah, we can be smart asses. Dustin, Gobin, and Damien, everybody in my group, a lot. We can be smart asses, a lot. But we have fun, but we also tell the truth. So when someone messages me and asks me a certain question, I'm not going to lie to them, you know. Someone can ask me, Hey Kenny, why'd you drop out of college? Why'd you drop out of college? So, the way my college worked is if you fail two semesters, you're out. Right? I failed one semester. I was going to fail two, so I just figured, you know what? I'm just going to leave. I'm going to get kicked out anyways, so I just dropped out. Someone can ask me, Hey Kenny, do you still love cars? Absolutely. But, I feel like since I wasn't good at all the stuff that I had to do to get my degree in that field, you know, I wanted to be an auto mechanic. It didn't work out. I can still learn from my friends, you know. But when it comes to actually working on cars, changing oil, spinning tires, all that stuff, I can do that here just a hobby. I know what I'm doing most of the time. Most of the time. Keep that in mind. So, when my friends, uh, y'all basically know all the friends I hang out with. Y'all know Gobin, y'all know Hunter, y'all know Jonathan, or John, as my friends call him. Call them that sometimes, you know, it just depends. You know, I know Damien, Charlie, Bryce sometimes, you know. But y'all y'all know. One of them asked me if I was willing to go back to the college. I, I don't know about that. I have two reasons why. One, why would I 
leave since I wasn't good at the stuff that I needed for that why would I go back and do that all over again just to hurt myself or and or my family if they need to pay my way in because we had financial aid I don't know if I have financial aid anymore you know why would I do that to me or my family second reason I wouldn't think about going back is when when you work hard for something you kind of want if it fails you work hard and then it fails kind of want to think about stuff that you've done wrong if that makes any sense and try to focus on something else that's worth that's more worth doing you know so since I dropped out I've been doing not much but more videos on here that's that's not one of my major priorities at the moment y'all can tell because it's been a week almost two weeks since I've made one of these videos and then also, I love playing games. I love video games. And I like entertaining people like like this. But that's not all I'm going to be doing, you know? Like, I like to walk. Doesn't matter what the condition is outside, I walk. I walked last year or the week before or the year before down the Joseph's in uh, one or two feet of snow. I don't care what the condition is. I like to walk, you know. But uh, when when people oof, when people ask you something you need to be honest if you don't know them and they come up to you and ask you something then I would suggest lying and telling them you know what you know but I don't think that's a good choice if you're friends with that person just be honest with them you know like my political views have nothing to do with my channel that much like I do like you know who but when it comes to all that the political stuff I'm getting into it I understand if I want to talk about gun rights and stuff like that I don't consider that political views because that's what my opinion is everybody has opinions I me mean, honestly I like America that's what I stand for. That's what my channel stands for. That's what I like to talk about. You know? And honestly, the only political view I have is if you're willing to try to take our Constitution away, leave the country. Because I don't think anybody that I'm friends with is considering letting it go. That's all I got to say that. In fact, my area that I live in, we, I live in Virginia, and you know our governor, you know? But places around me, like the town that Gobin, Damien, Charlie, and them, that county actually, they have already made that county a second amendment sanctuary my city that I live in has already made it a second amendment sanctuary three four five towns around mine and theirs have already made themselves second amendment sanctuaries you see America is one of those places where you want to go if you want to become somebody 
It's not here for people to try to take over. It's not here for people to try to take away stuff. It's about giving and receiving. Giving your blood, sweat, and tears and receiving maybe a paycheck, hard-earned, you know, money. It's about receiving, you know, fucking uh, maybe some vacation time from your work, you know. Uh, the place that I worked at, I tried working, you know. It's just taking me a little bit to adjust to what, you know, I like. Besides cars, because, you know, I don't have that degree. So, the place that I tried to work at, we worked hard. We were given a car this time of the year. Now, obviously, I didn't stay to have this, you know. But... It would have been good for me to give my blood, sweat, and tears into that company and receive something like a paycheck, a car, you know, something of that caliber, you know. It's all about working hard to get where you want to be. Now, when I do stuff, I put everything into it. It's what I do is raised to do by my dad is what my dad does my dad started out at his job at eight dollars an hour he's up to 13 a little over 13 i think it's like 13 40 something oh like yeah that's what we were raised to do and that's the american way you know it's it's not about asking for stuff it's about taking stuff by blood sweat and tears I mean a lot of people in our country nowadays don't believe in that because have you seen the colleges around everybody wants it. you know what it's mine it's mine nothing's yours take what is yours by hard work dedication I hope y'all enjoyed this video I'm not a typical youtuber I'm not gonna ask you to smash the like button or anything I'm not monetized so it doesn't fucking matter <laughs> I'm not asking you to share I'm not asking you to subscribe but if you enjoyed the video you know my name is King also known as Country K and I was about to dick me a whip and some chonja jaw See y'all next time.